Quinn, it was uh, a hard-fought game. You knew it was going to be after Saturday. Was there anything that you can kind of point to that was maybe a little bit different than Saturday? Um, I definitely think they came out a little different. Um, obviously, the altitude um, is a huge benefit for us, and it helps us a lot. And I think they kind of – I'm I'm not going to say got used to it, but they were better than – more used to it than they were the first game. Um, I think, too, we played a little tired at times. Talk a little bit about – got off to a great start. You couldn't have asked for probably a better start there in the first quarter. What was the difference between that start to what happened in the second quarter? Um, I just think we got a little comfortable um, and just started to kind of – ease up and with a team like that you absolutely can't ease up because obviously they they'll do that so was this game maybe a little quicker tempo than you would have liked i mean you basically surpassed the the final score saturday i think midway through the fourth quarter do you think that that helped them a little bit more um i don't know i mean maybe on offense i think the biggest thing was their tempo on offense we didn't get them stopped like we did on um, Saturday. So obviously our offense, our quick tempo offense helped us. We scored 80 points, but it also helped them because they scored 83. I know it's tough to go against the Cavender girls, let alone two games in a row. Talk about and describe what it is like to, to go up against those two girls. Um, they're very good players, uh, very quick. Um, so it's kind of hard to get around screens and stuff, and you just got to do your best and work as hard as you can. You know that they're kind of going to get theirs. Was it maybe a case of Beauty and Walling getting a little more tonight than Saturday for them? Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, I could tell that a lot from – what was a lot different from Saturday's game is Beauty and 15 did both get much more shots um, up than Saturday. You mentioned the fatigue. Was that maybe the biggest factor in overtime? Uh, I mean, Alba hits the two free throws, but I think both teams started like 0 for 9 from the field. And once they finally broke through, it, it seemed like they kind of took the air out a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Um, for both teams, we were both probably pretty tired. Um, but for us, I think just like little things, little mental lapses, turnovers here and there, that, that hurt us in overtime. Was it something they were doing defensively where it seemed like every time in overtime you were running down to the end of the shot clock there? Um, I just think we had played against their zone for the most of the game. Um, so when they went to man, it's, it's kind of like we all just were standing there waiting for a zone, and we weren't moving around like we usually do in motion. Now you've got a little bit of time to kind of regather yourself here. It, is it kind of hard to take a break at this point, versus, or is it better so you can work on some things before you uh, before your next round of games? Um, I think it's it's a pretty good thing to just after two games so close to get a day or two off, um, and then we have pretty much a week to prepare for Boise.